Now, let me tell you what I have a problem with. And I think I've said this before, but I'm going to reiterate. There is something very morbid and strange and weird about a record label using the face and voice of a dead man to sell records. Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Juice World and his latest song, Righteous. Now, I made a video about this before, and we got to talk about it because it is one of the most annoying things, and I, I understand it, but I don't like it. Um, so let's talk about it. So basically, everyone knows that Juice World died last year, tragically, of a drug overdose after he got off the airplane. I guess uh, from what the reports say, he was trying to hide the drugs. He didn't want to get caught with them. So what he did was he actually ended up swallowing a whole bunch of pills, and he ended up you know, basically having cardiac arrest and dying. So his death was, like I said, tragic, but a lot of people um, have been kind of looking at the way they were going to release his music over time. Because most artists that die that young, I think he died at 21 or 23, usually artists that die that young have a lot of music that they made, but that was just unreleased. So of course the logic is that the studio or the uh, record label that you know owns his name and owns his face and everything, of course they're going to say to themselves, well, we need to make money. Um, our contract with him is not up yet. So a lot of times they take the song and they take the face of the person or they use a music video animator and they make the song, which they did with the music video Righteous. Now. Let me tell you what I have a problem with. And I think I've said this before, but I'm going to reiterate. There is something very morbid and strange and weird about a record label using the face and voice of a dead man to sell records. Maybe I'm just old fashioned. Maybe I don't like that. I, I just personally have never liked the idea of people like XXX, uh, people like Lil Peep, right? Uh, being used after they're already dead. It kind of goes further into everything I've ever talked about when it comes to signing a contract with a label, with selling your soul, with selling your person, your face, your ideas, everything to a record label. It goes so far that yes, eventually, if you were to die while still under contract, they own everything about you, your own voice, your own face, even when you're not alive, you're still going on tour and you're still selling records. So I just wish that there was some other method. Like, I don't know. I think this video is less of a rant and more of just like a plea for ideas. I like, what other way can they do this without making it look so bad? Like, yes, the person is dead, right? Let's talk about that for a second. Most of the times when people die, um, they're not prepared. Like Mac Miller, he obviously wasn't prepared to die. Uh, neither, neither was X, neither was, you know, Amy Winehouse, neither was, you know, a lot of these people. So, of course, when they die, it's tragic and the record label has to figure out a way to get their money out of the person even while they're in the grave. And I just don't know another way to say this, but it's just weird. I don't like it. It's, it's strange. And it's like... They're manipulating the people who are sad about their death. They're manipulating the people who uh, obviously are broken up about the person dying. Like, Juice World had tons of fans. I'm one of them. Not a hardcore fan, but I was a fan. And the fact that he had so many fans, and, and now that he's dead, you have all these fans that have like this hole in their heart where Juice was. And now the record label's like, well, let's fill that hole back in with music from a dead man. And there's just something about that I don't like. There's something about that I, I just, I wonder actually, if there's a clause in the contract when a record deal is being made. Is there a clause in there that speaks about that? That talks about if the person dies, what happens to their music, what happens to their face? And do the artists read this? Because if I were to ever, let's be very clear, if I were to ever make a music contract or sign on to a record label, I would make sure that when I die, I'm gone. I don't want my music being uh, any of the old songs or songs that I've made that are in the vault. I don't want them released. 
I don't want my face anywhere. I don't want none of that because it just seems very strange to me, very morbid. And I think it almost reopens a lot of wounds for people. Like, yes, okay, sure. You know, we're giving you music from a person that you miss, from a person that you love. It's like a gift from us, the record label, to you, the sad people who miss them. But to me, once again, it just seems kind of icky. Um, I think what I also recognize is sometimes when an artist dies, their music, it does better. The sales go higher than they did when they were dead. So let's talk about Prince and Michael Jackson, probably arguably the two most popular and well-known artists of our generation of all time, maybe. When both of these people died, their record sales skyrocketed. Like, I'm talking, I, I, I don't necessarily remember the numbers for Prince and Michael Jackson, but it almost doubled what, it, what the sales were when they were alive. Like, these guys are literally, some of the records that never went platinum or never went gold or whatever, these guys are going gold and platinum and they're in the grave. Like, it just seems strange to me. I don't know. I think there, there has to be something that they can do. There has to be a new contract that can be signed. There has to be a new way of doing business because that, that to me just doesn't, it doesn't sit well with me. I think when someone dies, you should let them rest in peace. I do believe that. Um, I believe that whatever music is already released, I think maybe you could do something with that. So for example, um, Juice World released an entire studio album. Like, I'm sure that there's not a music video to every single song on his studio album. You could do that. Um, I think that's definitely a way to do it better than taking a song that was unreleased or something they were working on and then just putting it out there and animating them like a, like a little anime and they're doing stuff on the video. Now, does this mean that the artist didn't ask for this? No. There is a chance that the artist did ask for this. And there's a chance that like all of that was done and written in by the artist. There are some people who want to be around while even after they're dead. There's some people that want to be memorialized in more music and all that stuff. Uh, there's a possibility, but I'm talking about the instance where that's not in the contract, where that's not, or sorry, it is in the contract, but the artist is not aware of it. Like that's kind of what I'm talking about. And to me, that's kind of what that, that's the worst part. So I wish that maybe there was a way to change this. What do you guys think in the comments? Do you think it's okay to have a musician or an artist have their music uh, that was unreleased be released after they die? Are you guys okay with seeing their face as a cartoon character or anything like that after they die? Are you okay with that? Tell me in the comments, I'm curious. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. I am selling t-shirts, look at this. It's beautiful, is it not? This is a Song Theory t-shirt. You can have one of your own. Uh, just go in the link below. I sell two colors. I sell gold. It's considered gold. It's kind of orange, but gold. And I also sell black. Now, don't click on the white one. The white one has nothing on it. I have no idea why it's there. I'm still trying to get it off, but there's that. Also, I actually have a TikTok as well. If you'd like to take a look at it, the link is in the description below. And like I said, comment. Tell me what you guys think. Do you think it's okay? Do you think it's weird? Like. Sometimes I can't even listen to the, like, I, I'm going to tell you this right now. For those that are still watching, you get like a little sneak peek behind the scenes of this video. I didn't even listen to the song Righteous from Juice World because it's, it's so weird. Like, I just find it weird to listen to that kind of stuff, uh, that kind of stuff. I find it strange to go and seek out his face and his name after he's already dead. Um, if anything, I'll seek out something that was already produced. Like I'll look at an old music video or listen to his album or something, but I don't know. I just find it weird. It's unsettling. Um, I know somebody in the comments is going to go, well, you know, if there was a new movie and they, you know, put a dead guy in there or a dead woman in there and his computer graphics, is that a problem too? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I just don't like it, man. I don't know. Sue me. I just don't like it. Um, does that mean it's not like good for people to listen to it? No. Like I said in the video, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But in my personal opinion, in my perspective, I just don't like the way they do that. But who am I? I'm not a record executive. I'm not, I don't work for a record label. I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm just stupid. That's not my thing. Anyway, love you guys. Hope you have a great day and a better tomorrow. 
God bless. I'll see you all later.